Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today, gonna be talking about the San Francisco 49ers. Gonna be talking about the Los Angeles Rams for whatever reason. Well, I do have a reason right now. They are a really good team in the NFC West, NFC, and the NFL in general. They're a big threat to any team that plays them, the Philadelphia Eagles, the New England Patriots, and all that. Yada, yada, yada. They were the biggest surprise last year from 2017. I mean, who expected them to go 11 and 5, win the NFC West, and make a playoff run, kind of, although losing in the first round? But they had a really good season, exceeded expectations. Sean McVay, first season, phenomenal. That's the best word I can see for Sean McVay. And he's only 31, 32 years old. There's a lot of quarterbacks older than him, and he's old enough to be a lot of people's brothers my age. I mean, I'm 22, and he's old enough to be an older brother. <laughs> That's how young he is, but he treats himself like a man he's leading this team like you know he's been a veteran for the past couple of years now even though it's his second year so I'm really impressed with him and Wayfield what they've been able to do with the offense and defense got to give props to Les Snead and Stan Kroenke for their upper management they've done a great job with the Los Angeles Rams we'll see if they can keep it up this year in 2018 I'm not sure if they can Maybe they're a one-hit wonder, but I don't see that happening. I think with all the acquisitions that they made from offense with Brandon Cooks and then the defensive acquisitions that they had with Nadab Kinsu, Akib Talib, and Sam Shield, this team is just loading up even more to make a big playoff run in my opinion. And the San Francisco 49ers, if I'm a 49er fan, just like me, I would be a little bit concerned about this team. This is pretty much the biggest threat in the NFC West, in my opinion. The Arizona Cardinals, Seattle Seahawks are there. Don't get me wrong, but I think the Los Angeles Rams are the biggest threat to the division crown for the NFC West title. We'll see what happens. I'm really excited to see what the 49ers and Rams rivalry is going to get going. Last year, it was a pretty exciting one, especially the first matchup with a Thursday night game. Brian Hoyer versus I guess, Jared Goff. Jared golf didn't find himself completely but he was a made man in that game he had a fantastic game as well as Todd Gurley Brian Hoyer kind of effed up early on but had a nice comeback and then the ending of the game was a little bit controversial with the ticky tacky pass interference call from Trent Taylor offensive uh not really my favorite one but hey really good game one of the best games in the NFL last year and I would rate that number one and then the last meeting week 17 they weren't really played for anything neither team Jimmy Garoppolo had a pretty damn good game, although it was a, a Todd Gurley and Jared Goffless Rams, but at the same time, if they would have been playing, I still think Jimmy Garoppolo would have led the team to a victory. I keep saying that, and I'm adamant about that, but we'll never know. The only time you can know is if you want to play Madden, if you want to replay that. I just feel like if they would have been playing that game, Jared Goff and Todd Gurley, all the starters, I feel like the 49ers would have won the game no matter what. We'll get to see that in 2018. We'll get to see what both teams have to offer. Kyle Shanahan, Sean McVay should be an exciting one. The win totals I can see for the Rams going the ceiling for them I would say probably 12 and 4 or 13 and 3 that's how talented they are I think they can go that many wins I'm not intimidated but I'm a little concerned if I'm a 49er player fan or whatever I don't know I just like this Rams team right now what they're doing and they made a lot of great moves this might be the new team that replaces the Seattle Seahawks well I hope we can replace the Seattle Seahawks as a 49er fan but right now this LA Rams they are running the NFC West just for now just for now people don't get too crazy they won the NFC West last year they had a really good run but hopefully the 49ers can dethrone them and the 49ers can be NFC West champions I'm hoping to see that later on in 2018 but just right now the Rams are probably the best team I would say just with the experience that they had on winning all those games and just getting extra players that will fit their system and that will do good for their teams yeah that's pretty much it you guys the Rams really good team still talented I don't think this is a one-hit wonder team I think this team is going to be building the last and Sean McVay is going to be there for a while well, I say that with coaches, but I don't know. I mean, the NFL is a weird world. I see Sean McVay, you know, nothing too crazy going on. I've seen him being the coach for the Rams for a very, very long time. And he's a young coach, as I said, 32 years old. So he can definitely be there for a long time. And with Jared Goff and Todd Gurley developing even more with the additions of Brandon Cooks, that's going to be freaking amazing. The defense under Wade Phillips, oh, man, it looks really, really intimidating. I will say that that defense looked really loaded and stacked. Oh, Hopefully the 49ers can deal with it. I'm going to keep it like that. You guys, please let me know what you guys think about the Rams in 2018. Are they good? Are they bad? How you like any of the acquisitions that they made? How much of a threat they are to the 49ers? Please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you guys like this, please like, subscribe, do whatever you want with this. And I'll be catching you guys up another time. So I hope you guys have a nice day, nice weekend, nice whatever. And I'll see you guys another time. Bye, guys. Love y'all.